Imagine this, you're a Sigma empath, known for your incredible kindness and empathy, and you finally had enough of the narcissist in your life. What happens when you stand up to them? Get ready for a roller coaster. Because narcissists don't go down quietly. Stick around to discover the 10 shocking things they'll do when they're backed into a corner. Sigma empaths have a unique gift. They're naturally compassionate, intuitive, and incredibly giving. This often makes them a magnet for narcissists. You are drawn to their warmth and generosity. But what happens when these empaths finally assert themselves and refuse to be mistreated? That's when the real drama begins. In today's video, we're uncovering the 10 tactics narcissists use when they realize they're losing their grip on their empathic targets. From escalating hostility to cunning manipulations, you'll learn what to watch out for and how to protect yourself. Let's dive into the ways narcissists react when their facades to crumble. Number one, they become increasingly mean. Picture this, you've finally had enough of the narcissist's behavior. Maybe you've called them out on their lies or stood up for yourself in a way you never have before. At first, you might think they'll listen or even respect your boundaries. But what often happens is the exact opposite. As soon as you confront them, their meanness ramps up. Why does this happen? Narcissists are obsessed with maintaining their perfect image. To them, any challenge to their ideal self is a personal attack. When you stand up to them, it's not just about the confrontation, it's a threat to the image they've carefully crafted for the world. As a result, their reactions can become intensely hostile and aggressive. It's as if they're trying to drown out the reality you've presented with a wave of cruelty and anger. For example, let's say you finally call out a narcissist for belittling you. Instead of addressing the issue, they might start making snide remarks, raising their voice, or even spreading rumors about you. Their aim is to tear down the very self-worth you're trying to protect. This behavior isn't about you, it's about their fear of losing control and their need to reassert their dominance. The more you push back, the more vicious they become in their attempts to preserve their facade. Knowing this can help you brace yourself for their inevitable meanness and stay firm in your resolve. Number 2. They try to distort the truth. Imagine you're having a conversation with a narcissist about a disagreement you had. You remember the details clearly, but as soon as you bring it up, they start changing the story. They might deny things they said or claim that you're exaggerating. It's like trying to nail jelly to a wall every time you think you have a solid understanding of what happened. They shift the facts to suit their own agenda. Narcissists are experts at twisting reality. For them, the truth isn't about what really happened, it's about what makes them look good. When you challenge them, they'll bend the facts, downplay their mistakes, or outright lie to fit their narrative. It's not just about winning an argument, it's about maintaining their inflated self-image and keeping control over the situation. For instance, if you've confronted them about a broken promise, they might start saying you're the one who never committed to it in the first place. Or they might exaggerate your mistakes to shift the blame onto you. This distortion isn't just frustrating, it's designed to make you doubt your own memories and perceptions. The key to dealing with this is to stay grounded in your version of events. Document your interactions if you can and remind yourself of the truth. Standing firm against these distortions not only helps you stay confident, but also prevents the narcissist from gaining the upper hand. Number three dot, they project negative thoughts and feelings onto you. Picture this, you're dealing with a narcissist who's constantly accusing you of being selfish or unkind. The thing is, you know deep down that these aren't your feelings. Yet the more they accuse you, the more you start to question yourself. This is classic narcissistic projection at work. Narcissists have a hard time facing their own flaws and negative feelings. Instead of dealing with their issues, they project these unwanted thoughts and emotions onto you. It's like they're holding up a mirror, but instead of reflecting their own image, they're making you see their faults in yourself. For example, if they're feeling insecure about their achievements, they might accuse you of being envious or jealous, even though those feelings have never crossed your mind. This projection can be incredibly confusing, especially for empaths who are naturally sensitive to the emotions of others. You might start to wonder if there's some truth to their accusations, or if you're somehow at fault. The key here is to stay connected to your own feelings and thoughts. Recognize when their accusations are more about them than about you. 
Understanding that this is a tactic used to deflect blame can help you separate their projections from your own reality. Remember, you know yourself better than anyone else ever could. Keep your boundaries strong and don't let their projections cloud your sense of self. Number four, they pass the blame. Imagine you're in a heated argument with a narcissist about a project you both worked on. They messed up, and now the whole thing is falling apart. But instead of owning up to their mistake, they start pointing fingers at you, blaming you for everything that went wrong. It's infuriating. But it's a classic move from the narcissist playbook. Narcissists have a fragile ego that can't handle admitting they're wrong. If something goes awry, their first instinct is to shift the blame onto someone else. It's as if they're trying to pass off their failures like a hot potato, never wanting to hold on to any responsibility. For example, if they were supposed to handle a crucial task and it failed, they might accuse you of not providing clear instructions or say you didn't offer enough support. This tactic is not just about escaping responsibility, it's about maintaining their grandiose self-image. By blaming you, they avoid facing their own shortcomings and keep their inflated sense of superiority intact. It can feel like you're constantly on the defensive, trying to prove your innocence while they keep deflecting blame. To handle this, it's important to stay grounded and not let their accusations rattle you. Document your contributions and keep a clear record of events. This way, when they try to pass the blame, you have the evidence to stand your ground. Remember, their need to blame others is a reflection of their own insecurities, not a reflection of your worth or actions. Number five. They try to shatter your self-esteem. Imagine you're feeling great about an accomplishment. Maybe you've just finished a big project or received some well-deserved praise. You share your excitement with the narcissist, expecting them to be happy for you. Instead, they dismiss your achievement with a cutting remark or undermine your success. At first, you might brush it off, but over time, these small jabs start to chip away at your confidence. Narcissists have a unique way of making themselves feel superior by targeting your self-esteem. They know that if they can make you doubt yourself, you become easier to control. Whether it's a sarcastic comment about your abilities or a constant stream of criticisms, their goal is to make you feel less than you are. For example, they might belittle your accomplishments or compare you unfavorably to others, hoping to make you question your worth. It's important to recognize that these attacks are not about you, but about their need to feel better at your expense. The more they can erode your self-esteem, the more power they have over you. But remember, your self-worth isn't defined by their opinion. Stay connected to your strengths and achievements, and don't let their negativity cloud your view of yourself. Building your self-esteem from within and not relying on their validation is key to maintaining your confidence. Stand firm in your sense of self and don't let their attempts to diminish you succeed. Number six, they act out aggressively. Picture this, you're in a tense meeting with a narcissist and you've pointed out a mistake they made. Instead of addressing the issue, they explode in anger. They start shouting, throwing things or even making threats. What was meant to be a constructive conversation has turned into a dangerous situation. Narcissists react with aggression when their carefully maintained image is threatened. Criticism is not something they handle well. It's seen as a personal attack on their inflated self-worth. This can lead to outbursts of rage or even violent behavior. For instance, if you've confronted them about a failed project, their response might not just be verbal abuse. They could escalate to physical aggression or intimidation in an attempt to silence you and reassert control. When dealing with a narcissist who starts acting aggressively, your safety should be your top priority. If you sense that the situation is getting out of hand, remove yourself from the environment as quickly and calmly as possible. Seek help from friends, family or authorities if needed. Remember, their aggression is a reflection of their inability to cope with criticism, not a reflection of your actions. Protect yourself and don't feel guilty for taking the necessary steps to ensure your safety. Number seven, they invalidate your feelings. Imagine you're having a tough day and you open up to the narcissist in your life, hoping for some understanding, instead of offering support. They dismiss your feelings as overreaction or accuse you of being too sensitive. It feels like they're not just ignoring your emotions, but actively trying to undermine them. 
narcissists invalidate your feelings to make you doubt yourself and your experiences. They see your emotions as a threat to their control and will often belittle or disregard them to keep you off balance. For example, if you express hurt over something they did, they might respond with, you're just making a big deal out of nothing or you're too emotional. It's not that bad this tactic isn't about genuine feedback, it's about erasing your sense of self and making you more compliant. To deal with this, it's crucial to validate your own feelings. Understand that your emotions are valid, regardless of how they are received by others. Keep a journal of your experiences and feelings to reinforce your own perspective. By acknowledging your emotions and giving them the importance they deserve, you strengthen your sense of self. Remember, your feelings are real and valid, and they are a crucial part of who you are. Don't let the narcissist's attempts to invalidate you shake your confidence in your own emotional experiences. Number 8. They try to gaslight you. Picture this, you clearly remember a conversation where the narcissist made a promise, but now they're denying ever saying it. When you bring it up, they accuse you of being forgetful or imagining things. They might even start suggesting that you're overreacting or losing your grip on reality. It's like you're caught in a mental fog, questioning whether your memory is reliable. This is what gaslighting looks like. Narcissists use this tactic to make you doubt your own reality and perceptions. By denying things that happened or twisting the truth, they aim to undermine your confidence in your own experiences. For example, if you confront them about a lie they told, they might insist that you're remembering it wrong or that it never happened. Over time, this can make you feel confused and unsure of what's real. To combat gaslighting, it's essential to keep a clear record of your experiences. Document conversations, save messages and note down incidents. This evidence can serve as a reality check when the narcissist tries to distort the truth. Trust in your own perceptions and remember that your reality is valid. Gaslighting is a manipulative tactic designed to control and confuse you, so staying grounded in your own experiences is crucial for maintaining your mental clarity and confidence. Number 9. They try to discredit you. Imagine you finally had the courage to speak out against a narcissist and suddenly you notice something strange. Friends and colleagues start avoiding you and whispers about you seem to come from nowhere. What's happening is a classic tactic. The narcissist is launching a smear campaign against you. When a narcissist feels their control slipping, their first instinct is to discredit you. They'll spread false information, twist facts, or even fabricate stories to make you look unreliable or unstable. Their goal is to isolate you from your support network so that you're left vulnerable and less likely to get help. For instance, they might tell others that you're overly dramatic or that you're making things up, all in an effort to tarnish your reputation and keep people from believing your side of the story. To combat this, it's crucial to surround yourself with trustworthy people who know you well and can see through the narcissist's tactics. Keep your support network informed and maintain open lines of communication with those who can back up your version of events. Building strong, reliable relationships can provide you with the support you need and help counteract any efforts to discredit you. Remember, the narcissist's goal is to isolate you, but by staying connected to people who truly understand and support you, you can resist their attempts to undermine you. Number 10. They use your empathy against you. Imagine you're having a conversation with a narcissist who's pouring out their heartfelt story of woe. They might be recounting a sob story or pretending to be deeply hurt by something you said. As a Sigma empath, your natural instinct is to offer support and compassion. But here's the twist. They're not being genuine. They're simply using your empathy as a tool to manipulate you. Narcissists are keenly aware of how deeply empaths can feel and respond to emotional cues. They may mimic emotional responses or exaggerate their distress to exploit your compassionate nature. For example, they might play the victim to make you feel guilty or to get you to do something for them that you wouldn't normally agree to. They know that your empathy can be a powerful lever for getting what they want. To protect yourself from being used in this way, stay vigilant. Before making decisions based on their emotional appeals, take a step back and assess their sincerity. Look for patterns in their behavior and check if their actions align with their words. Genuine emotional responses will be consistent and aligned with their actions, while manipulative ones will often feel hollow or inconsistent. 
By keeping your empathy in check and evaluating their motives, you can avoid falling into their manipulative traps and maintain control over your own boundaries. To recap, today we've explored the 10 tactics narcissists use when they lose control. From becoming increasingly mean to using your empathy against you, these behaviors are designed to undermine and manipulate. Understanding these tactics is crucial for protecting yourself and maintaining your strength in challenging situations. Have you encountered any of these tactics from narcissists? I'd love to hear your experiences and how you've dealt with them. Share your stories in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more insights and strategies. Remember, being a Sigma empath is a unique and powerful gift. Your ability to understand and connect deeply is a strength, not a weakness. Stand firm in your boundaries, trust in yourself, and keep shining bright. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. This is Motivation Today. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.